I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know, alhamdulillah, uh, uh, you guys aren't going to mind my brutal honesty. One of the things that's concerned me as I came here, and every nation has its concerns, every country has its concerns, and we have some universal concerns, but something unique that I found here that I haven't seen in many other places, uh, and it may be a phenomenon in the entire region, is that you guys are obsessed with over-the-top, super luxurious brands. Over-the-top. Like I saw a billboard for an Alfa Romeo. Like, or, or you know, or like a Porsche or something, or like a Rolex watch, or like... Over-the-top. Oh my God. Like there's no normal commercials here. Nobody's like giving you a commercial for a toothbrush, or like a sneaker, or like a pair of socks or something. Everybody's like walking through a seven-star hotel and the water fountain's on their side and a hawk flies onto their arm and, <laughs> and they check their diamond and... <laughs> my God! You know, and you know what that does to a society? You become obsessed with elite brands. You become obsessed with the brand of watch you're wearing or the, the brand of shoes. You know, or maybe even the brand of jilbab, I don't know. You know? The brand of hijab, or where you're, and if you're, when you're shopping in the mall, which is supposed to be like a national sport, I think, right? So, so if you're, if you're shopping in the mall, make sure you go to the most expensive store and buy like the smallest thing, but get the biggest bag, so you look like you're worth something, you know, like flaunting the bag, like I got an Armani bag, I'm gonna put in your face before it. You know what this does? This creates an artificial, like fake society. That, and it creates these standards that nobody can live up to. Nobody actually looks like those commercials, by the way. That's not real. All that's fake. And people get so deluded by that. And then the people around them get deluded by that. If you're really going to be a sahib in this society, make being normal celebrated. Don't celebrate being over the top and posh and overly, you know, luxurious. Celebrate normalcy. Celebrate being yourself. It's something cool. <laughs> You know, you don't have to be someone you're not. You don't have to live up to this fake standard of living that really nobody should be, nobody should be, that, that should be their normal state. It's not sustainable. It's not healthy for you to want that for your life. That's, that's not a goal to live by. And by the way, if that's your goal, like you're always going to be smiling and like checking your brand name watch and then flipping on the giant screen TV and overlooking the balcony of this amazing hotel, and jump into the swimming pool and all of that. If that's, if that's the life you're dreaming about, you're gonna live a miserable life. Maybe you'll get those things and people who get those things are still miserable. Some of the richest counties in the United States have the highest suicide rates. They have everything. They have everything and they have the highest suicide rates. How many, how many like platinum, platinum musicians, artists from the United States, Hollywood actors are dying of drug overdoses? They're so depressed with reality that they want to drug themselves up so they don't have to face reality. And they're killing themselves over it. These are not people you want to be like. These are people you want to feel sorry for. You don't want to be like them, you know? It's unfortunate that an entire generation of Muslims all over the world is like going crazy over pathetic, sad cases like Justin Bieber. I feel sorry for the guy, honestly. Honestly, I feel sorry for him. He's a kid. And they've set him up to, they, they, they've, they've put this like crazy world around him. And everybody, people are like crying and like, like they're having spiritual experiences when he walks by and stuff. Like, why? Why? This is part of being sahib, being responsible citizens to your people. Setting a standard for what you should live up to. When you start not being so deluded by fashion, deluded by brands and so deluded by the next material thing. Oh, I only have an iPhone 4, I can't be your friend. You have an iPhone 5. Um, you know, like, you, you, you can't, you can't be like that. Don't stand in line like 300 people outside the iPhone Apple store when the iPhone 5S comes out. Don't be one of those people. It's okay, you will be able to, I, I promise you oxygen will still be available. It will, you'll still be able to breathe and live your life if you're not the first one to have it. You know? And about by the people who buy it, guess what? They don't keep it in their pocket. I put it in front of them in the Musalla Allah. So the guy next to him, huh? 5S. Sami Allah, Hamida. Like, 
<laughs> come on <laughs> you know so that's sahib that's sahib don't be a show off don't be and it's talked about in the ayat of surah al-kahf today is not a dars on surah al-kahf or those two people i think i somebody must have put that thing on youtube but I, i talked about the conversation between those two those two gardeners and how it's a really insightful conversation about people that are super materialistic and like to make other people people feel bad because of the things they own like to slip it in yeah this is just it's a cheap bag it's gucci but it's cheap you know this is it was on sale 800 thousand you know okay. that's that's it's not a healthy way to live and it's not something you want other people to feel and it actually shows that you're not a concerned person for the rest of society